Can you attain perfect sprint form? Well, let's see if it's attainable. In this video, I'm going to give you my thoughts on sprint technique and what are the key areas that you need to focus on to improve it. We're going to look at some of the biomechanical aspects of the sprint action and look at what's actually vital and what you really need to focus on. Let's start with some of the fundamentals of developing, attaining a great sprint form. So we have front side mechanics and we have rear side mechanics. Crucial to this is heel recovery on the rear side and knee lift on the front side. Arm action is also important, but maybe not for the reasons that you may think so. So what areas of sprint technique can you work on to improve your velocity in a forward direction? Well, a lot of coaches stress the importance of heel recovery, and some are suggesting that the heel should not come up so high behind the body as previously thought. The objective here is to pull the foot from the back of the body to the front as quickly as possible. However, the ability of the hamstrings to actually do this is mitigated by the velocity of the recovery. And it's in fact the hips that will pull the heel quicker through to the front. Therefore, it makes a lot of sense to work on exercises that target the ability to pull the leg to the front. Another vital aspect is the strike on the ground. Now this needs to be a few centimeters in front of the center of mass of the body on foot strike and the weight then transitions very quickly over that foot. Some research indicates that the ankle joint can be the weakest link in the kinetic chain when the stretch shortening cycle occurs. The ankle needs to be dorsiflexed. It needs to have pre-tension in it on striking the ground and then you'll not get a yielding effect which will create greater impulse. Now that impulse, as I've been saying, needs to be transferred into horizontal velocity. And that's where the hips come into great play in order to achieve that. So you need to work a lot on striking the ground in front of the center of mass with great leg stiffness, which is developed through the appropriate conditioning means, whilst at the same time getting the hip to extend in front. So what about the use of the arms? Sometimes coaches say, move your arms faster and you will sprint faster. In many ways, that's not entirely accurate as apparently the counter movement of the arm swing negates the ability of the arms to transfer force in the forward direction. What it can do because they are doing this movement is at certain points in the stride cycle, the force will be transferred downwards. So again, we're encountering a problem whereby the arms could increase vertical force going down into the track surface, which needs to be then translated into horizontal force. Thus, when I'm coaching my athletes, yes, we do work on arm action, but predominantly we're working on the hip action, heel recovery through to thigh extension in front of the body and developing the means by which to convert the vertical forces the power the athlete generates into forward and fast momentum. In reality, you should see the arms as balancing the sprinting motion, counteracting the rotation that will develop through the core if you don't use your arms properly. When I'm working with a sprinter and attempting to improve their technique, I will look at their transitory ability, their ability to move that way across the track. Their ability to strike powerfully onto the track surface, I'll be looking at their leg stiffness and reiterating the way their hips translate their power into horizontal velocity. Do look out for some non-track and field sports specific content on the channel. We're going to look at how you can improve your football speed, your hockey turning ability, your rugby sidestep, your agility for all those sports and for more. Do you want to take your coaching to another level to learn about how to program 
properly, systematically, specifically, so you get maximum transference between your training means and your training or performance goals, then why not consider becoming a channel member. Every month I post a exclusive video for coach athlete members and here we'll go through the various elements of technical work, training planning, periodization etc that will take your athletes or your performance to the next level. Go to the channel's homepage and click on join to find out more about channel members. Hopefully the information I provided in this video will help you improve your sprint form. If you have any specific questions then do drop me an email or leave a comment in the section below or through my other social media. If you are interested in the extremely accurate and portable Freelup timing system then do get in contact with me.